Uh, greetings, Cancer, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope y'all are all doing wonderfully well, and thank you so much for joining me on my world tour, and today I'm in Orlando, Florida, uh, this beautiful um, land of lakes, um, and we're starting off on our journey tomorrow uh, from here, going south uh, to uh, South America and Machu Picchu. And so this is what the spirit guides wanted me to bring you today, Cancer, this beautiful message for you. And it's coming uh, right now. And this is for what you need to know in the next uh, few days. It's coming on the horizon uh, for you, Cancer. <clears throat> well, you're making magic. You're coming into this new uh, time of using all of your gifts and talents. And you know you're well suited for whatever it is you're working on. And it's going to be, whether it's business or a relationship or something in science or even technology, uh, you are tapping into this amazing a part of your own mind because you're using all of your gifts and talents, your thinking function, your feeling, your intuition, uh, but also all the resources you have at your disposal now. And you're feeling a lot of personal power, Cancer. And you have the determination and strength that if there is some obstacle or problem that you're uh, going through right now, you're going to solve it. And you're going to make magic from it. And it's coming because you've been working on it with a lot of us um, taking that time, uh, looking at the glove that he has on his hand, and he's holding this coin. So there is work to be done in making magic. And you are very much achieving uh, what it is that you're going through. And you're going to keep your word, be very loyal, dependable as you come into this power. And uh, that's what is amazing about you, Cancer, because you um, know how you connect to others. And <clears throat> you're going to um, feel that most people maybe underestimate your power, but you have a lot of power to bring whatever this magic is that you're working on down to fruition. And you're going to be financially successful because uh, you are coming in also with love, with a love offer, something very beautiful that is going to grow around this water you have um, right there. And it's at the foundation is this significant um, energy. Uh, it's a masculine energy, whether you're a man or a woman, but it's someone who's going after love, going after these feelings. And you're going to think very carefully uh, before acting or speaking because you're coming out of, of this energy with love. And you've got two of the nights. And so there are traditional values, um, values of love, uh, thinking very carefully about how you're going to present yourself uh, at this time, Cancer. And you're going to have an invitation as well. And that's at the foundation. Maybe you've already had this invitation. But um, if it's an invitation uh, in some way to love, it's going to be uh, very generous. And uh, you're going to feel very good about this energy. And it's coming because in the recent past, uh, there was a wake up call. You're coming up out of this old way of life, and you're expanding up toward this sound. You see that there is a vibration, a sound coming to you. And you are going to um, feel that whether you've been in, a, in the recent past in a kind of low ebb where you felt like you weren't uh, moving forward on what you were working on or whatever you were feeling connected to, whether love or relationship, um, <clears throat> that you were going to be very persuasive in that love and you're seeing that you need to find a new path in life and that's what is stimulating perhaps this magician uh, coming um, to you right now because you're going to have to be very flexible and creative about how you're uh, going about using all your skills and talents. And you do have this financial ability to uh, make progress with what you're working on and something you love deeply. And uh, you have um, going to move into a significant new phase of life. And that has already been stimulated recently. 
and cancer, uh, there is a new beginning uh, at the very crown of the situation. And you might have your instincts, your dog there, this beautiful fluffy white dog at your ankles uh, saying, wait a minute, watch out. Uh, you um, maybe had to wake up and you are <clears throat> going to forgive whoever hurt you in the past if there was some upset or disagreements you're uh, or if you have wronged another person you're letting go of the past you're forgiving yourself and others so you can set up a whole new beginning in life where you're going to be more adventuresome you could be going out on um, <clears throat> a world tour maybe kind of like what I am doing a cancer but you're going to be expanding whether it's literal travel or whether it's traveling within your mind because you know you need to wake up to a new way of loving and a new way of working financially to bring your magician energy down. And it might take a leap of faith. Uh, this is gonna signify a new phase of life for you, Cancer. And you're gonna have to trust in your own ideas and your own ability uh, to use your beginner's mind to just approach things in a very new way. And it's coming um, because of the King of Wands is where you're going into the uh, near future. And you've got that a salamander that can go through the fires with you and you have a lot of confidence. And you are using that confidence to um, make a business plan something adventuresome something new that you love and you're going to work on and be very successful because your personal power uh, is ready for you now it's there it's coming and it's coming uh, a cancer with a sense of uh, moving forward with whatever it is that you have to connect to you're going to uh, attractive um, energy is around you and you're going to attract whoever you need um, cancer that's coming up now and that is going to bring you a lot of a sense of charisma confidence uh, knowing that you're going to take leadership and move forward with this adventure you're going on uh, whether it is just um, breaking free of any restrictions or starting off on a new life ahead and you are also have strong convictions about whatever this is you're fired up about <clears throat> and you're gonna make it happen uh, and take um, this concept of a new way of doing something and knowing it's gonna with your intuition it's gonna work out and you got the king of cups wow that is coming with a lot of feeling look how large this king's cup is and he's got this beautiful ring on his center finger so that is saying that he has gone through a lot of experiences emotionally in life whether you're um feeling this as a um, <clears throat> man or a woman you're gonna feel deeply you're gonna be very warm connected this is how you're seeing the magician you're seeing the magician this magic this personal power uh, you're gonna take charge and action not only with your passion and your intuition but also with your deep knowing your deep feelings and you're gonna give very wise advice about how to make this magic maybe something innovative or a new a project but it's coming with deep feeling and there is um, the energy around you um, of the seven of swords so this is um, an Aquarius shadow energy you see this character is um, dressed up in polka dots which is uh, don't take yourself too seriously find a little levity maybe you're needing as you go on this new adventure that you're creating and making magic uh, after a wake-up call that you're gonna have to be strategic and not tell everybody what your plans are or if you're the fool you usually don't just um, tell everybody what you're doing because this is a leap of faith you're going toward so you need to um, be careful about anything around you that might be uh, making selfish decisions to get the upper hand 
uh, to be aware of that. And if it's you needing to do that for uh, the particular reason of the situation you're in with the king of wands taking leadership, going after something charismatically, but also with deep a power of feelings and understanding, you're going to need to um, face problems, look at the situation, use strategy that's coming at you from your environment. And um, you're going to have to use your instincts to know whether this is lying, stealing, or cheating, or whether you're just making a commitment to a new way, an unusual, unique way of doing this. And the <clears throat> goal is to be nurturing of whatever it is you're working on and creating with this financial uh, stability of the magician, but also with um, being able to concentrate, to be a problem solver, but to nourish uh, your wealth and abundance. Uh, and this is going to be uh, this energy of being very down to earth. Uh, that's your hope and fear that you will be able to be grounded, even as as you're t taking this leap of faith outward, you're moving forward to a whole new uh, beginning. And you're going to be organized and you're very noble and generous uh, energy around you. And that could be in some way um, seeing uh, what this seven of swords uh, coming at you from your environment is because the final advice is uh, to move forward with this young energy to go passionately after and uh, here's the king uh, <clears throat> and the page so you have graduated this could be someone you know who used to be more um, a young and uh, innocent and um, green didn't know how to take action but was very bold and you're moving into this more uh, developed form of passion of leadership <clears throat> innovation um, and open to new concepts open to new bold adventures and being outgoing and gregarious is going to be very important for you at this time and so that is what I have for you. So you begin uh, with uh, this sense of the magician. And <clears throat> you are making magic with all the four domains. And you've got financial security coming. Whatever you're working on is going to be financially grounded. It's going to be real. It's going to reap the rewards that you are seeking. And with the foundation, you had a lot of deep feeling and love about what it is that's going on. And you feel a lot for this. Uh, and you're going to be uh, taking this uh, cup of love out there and offering it. It's at the foundation, something you connected to already uh, that is growing. And you had a wake up call in the recent past about perhaps a new uh, journey you wanted to go on. You want to find a new career. You want to find a new a path in life. And that path in life, it led you to taking a leap of faith uh, with your a sense of you're just going for it. You just don't know where it's leading you, but it's going to lead you to uh, the king of <clears throat> wands. You're going to take leadership, and you know you're going to be successful with this business, this entrepreneurial idea. And as you move with that, you have to also connect to these deep feelings and to be very mature about how you approach what it is because you've gone through the ups and downs of life and you do have deep feelings now. And you're going to be responsible and others are going to be um, able to count on you. And that is what I have. And as you come into the advice is to sit on your throne of beauty, abundance, spend time in nature, uh, to know that you're going to be very sympathetic uh, to um, issues around um, other people's feelings, what people value, what's going on. You're going to be generous. And you're very organized and help those in need, but also help yourself grow your own security. You're down to earth uh, and you're loyal. And so that is where you're going with this deep, loyal energy of the queen of <clears throat> pentacles with the king of cups. And there's feeling, but there's also passion, inspiration, a sense of leadership. And if you need to really be careful about anything 
that is trickery, a deceptive, cunning uh, in the environment, but you are using your own skills uh, to be diplomatic and keep your tactics close to your own chest. Don't tell everybody what you're doing because you're taking this out with passion. Uh, you're going for something new and you're bold and very gregarious and um, enthusiastic about this feeling of love and you've got two of the knights, uh, a grounded, earthy, noble uh, a knight that works the earth and is very practical, but also coming in with a love offer, sensitivity. And be careful what it is, if it's something innovative, a new business idea, uh, or something you're inventing, keep those energies to yourself because you've got that infinite power above you to move out into a new beginning. And trust that this uh, opening, this innocence, this beginner's mind is going to uh, bring you into a wake-up call. But that's going to be great for you because you're waking up from an old way of living into something totally uh, new for you. And that is what I have in an amazing uh, set of cards that come in uh, to this reading today. So you have temperance. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, you have a judgment. Um, a new path in life. You're coming out of the old way of life and receiving this announcement uh, to boldly move forward in a new direction. And you know you can do it. You've got that sense of determination. And you are going to be an entrepreneur at some business you're creating with magic. And it's something you're going to love and join others. Um, maybe it's an invitation to join with another around uh, this work you're doing. And it's going to make you financially very skilled and successful. It might take a little while because you still have this young energy around you, something uh, that you're very passionate and fired up about. And if there is uh, any sense of having to be diplomatic or have um, keep your plans uh, close to you, uh, do so at this time. And be careful about anything that's selfish or something that you would feel uh, that is a shame uh, to do or something that's shameful that someone else might be planning because you're going to take leadership and go boldly toward whatever this is you know will work and be significant. And you're going to also feel strongly uh, and be valued and people can count on you. And also they can count on you to be nurturing, loving, grounded, uh, down to earth. And that is what I have for you. And one final card uh, that we have at the is is coming in with something to do with a new love offer or a joining a partnership is going to be very important. Uh, you could be coming into uh, something that is going to make you feel like you are in love again with what you're doing, and you're going to feel very uh, content with this new start in a relationship or something you love doing. And it's going to have a dramatic effect on your life, Cancer, at this time. And that's what I have. And thank you again for joining me. And tomorrow I will be taking a, a jet down to South America and exploring those ancient ruins of Machu Picchu. And I hope to be doing a reading from there and sending you love. Bye-bye. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can get these um, readings as they come out. And so it is. And see you next time. Bye-bye.